Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play with some eyeshadow. If you have not seen my Pat McGrath unboxing, I will link it up here. I'm so excited. Right now, I'm wearing the Psycho Candy 412 by Miss Pat McGrath herself. Here she is. I'm gonna wipe it off because I was just filming another video. And I have three palettes, so I'm gonna do three separate videos for each palette. You know what? I think I might do this blue palette. No. We'll zoom you right on in, folks. First thing I need to do is I need to take off my lipstick. Yes, they gone. Oh, whose was that? It was, it was my lipstick. This lipstick actually stays on so well, it's fudged. I'll show you. It's insane. That's, that's the lipstick wiped off. That's the craziest lipstick. It stays on so well. I'll just have it like that for now. Or maybe what I'll do is actually, I'll take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat and I will just try to neutralize as best I can. You guys, I could do a shadow on someone else because if you don't know, I'm a makeup artist and doing someone else's makeup is a piece of cake. But doing my own, if you guys are makeup artists, okay, or even if you're not, and you just like doing people's makeup, please comment and let me know. Let me know if it's easier for you to do your makeup, whoop, or someone else's makeup. I'm gonna take my 217 MAC brush. I'm gonna dunk into this brown. It looks white on here, but it's a kind of bronzy brown matte. And I'm just gonna sweep it all the way on my eyelid, just as our nice gradient transition color. And I like to bring my deep shadow in that way for some reason, through here. I don't know, it kind of highlights where my nose starts. So that's that. I'm gonna take a little bit of that color beside it, which is more of a slaty gray. And I'm gonna start to build along the outside a smidge, just to create A little bit of a smoke out. Do I want to do a bluey or a lilac-y eye? Huh. But even that looks so pretty. I'm just going to try to try as many colors on my eye as possible. So now I'm going to take this guy, which he's a little bit more sparkly. I'm just going to, oh yeah. He's a glimmer. He glimmers and glamours. I'm just going to blend him. This is such a pretty smoky moment. And if you guys haven't used these shadows before, they are so pigmented. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, do I want to just do that blue eye? Maybe I do. Okay, I'm going to take the blue. This palette's all about the blue. And pop it right onto my lid. And you know what I'm going to say is I think fingertips are probably a lot better. Yeah. That application is so much better. Get it all over the lid. Gonna sweep it up a little bit higher. Gonna take a bit more of the dark brown. Just blend that in. It's starting to look a little muddy. But we'll fix that. We'll fix it. You know what, it's funny because I think your fingers with these shadows are almost a better blend. You know what I mean? And I want to make sure that this gets straight into my lash line. I'm going to pop some of that blue right into the lash line. Take a little bit more of that dark color. Bring it outwards. Hmm, fun and slutty, isn't it? Yeah. Text message. Oh, my friend Kitty just finished her first video. Let's watch it. Oh my gosh! I'll finish this after because I don't want to bore you guys. But, oh, I'm so proud of her! Kitty has been like the most supportive person in my creative life and she's taught me so much. So we are very proud of Kitty. She's like, I want to start a tips with Kitty thing because I have so many amazing health and beauty tips and she really does. 
So I was like, yeah, girl, you should. And she did start it. Okay, I just actually, sorry, just so you know, when I, was, when I was blabbering, I added a bit of this matte color. So we are extremely stoked for Kitty. You guys should follow her on Instagram. I'll link her in the description and I'll link all the videos that I have with her because they're all fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to take, ooh, I'm tempted between these two. I'm going to take a bit of this one first. And it's weird because it's like, it's like pink and then blue and then copper. So I'm just going to take that right in the center with the blue and kind of create like a halo eye effect. Look at how amazing. Oh my god. I'm going to bring it all the way up. I think I'm actually going to add way more blue because I feel like we're losing the blue. Let's go harder. Let's just add so much. So nice. And then I'm going to take more of that and just pop it all over. This is nice even on top, not even just as a halo. I'm going to do that. I'm feeling crazy. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm going to bring that into my inner corner because then I'm going to blend it another color. Just bring that into my inner corner. Holy fuck, does this not look like luxury? Oh my god. I'm so happy. I wish I had some lash glue because then I would really go ham. So nice. And then I'm going to take this light color, and it looks white, but it actually has like the most pretty, most pretty reflex. Oh yeah, all the way. Oh, and the blue dropped down, which means we're going to go down. But first I'm going to wash my hands, and I'll be I just looked in the bathroom, and it looks so beautiful in other light. Okay, I'm going to take another brush. And I'm just going to mix the two browns and I'm just going to take that under my eye and bring it nice, nice and down. And then that's where I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to take the blue underneath too. I'm going to take a bit of the, the black shadow and just bring it under. I'm like, do I add into my waterline? I think I might. I love it. What am I going to pop in my waterline? I'm going to add a little black just for some smoke. This one is the NARS, what is it? Larger than life longwear liner. I'm just going to tight line, scary angle. But I feel like with the smoky eye like this, you have to tight line. Now that we're tight lined, oh that's looking so nice. Oh my god, with the high ponytail. So pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, everyone calm down. I'm going to add a little bit more into... I'm going to take this white, the whitey, whitey blue, and I'm going to bring that right into the inner corner to show a gradient between the two blues to display my gradient and then I'll pick up a bit more of the blue yes I think I might end up taking a q-tip and just cleaning up underneath or maybe not maybe it's like a cool kind of rock star vibe just take my blending brush for a second drives me crazy when things aren't perfectly blended whoa absolutely fab it's so good I'm gonna curl my lashes again I would normally I would normally do a lash I just can't find my duo glue anywhere oh you know what maybe I'll use a green should I use a green mascara it's greeny blue Chanel matte I am I'm gonna do it it's a very thick mascara I'm gonna give it a really good coat 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's gonna add a little powder in the center of my face. And then this eye look is done. Just clean it up a little. And voila. Oh my gosh. Where are the parties, guys? Where are the parties? This is so pretty. Oh my god, this is my jam. Oh my god. And it's so pretty in person. Like, here, I'm gonna like go into different light with you because I have this LED set up, but I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna show you in different light. That's it through the mirror. It's like disturbingly good. Oh my gosh. My apartment lighting is BS. So this is a test. If it looks good in this lighting, it's gonna look good in any lighting. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, you guys, this is the final eye look. The first eye look that I've created from the Pat McGrath Sublime One palette. This is beautiful. I'm seriously dying right now. This is so nice. Stay tuned for more videos like this. I have lots more Pat McGrath palettes to go through with you. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you would wear this eye look if you like blue. Let me know if you like the video because it really helps me to know what videos I should make more of. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, please, and thank you. Much love, and we'll see you soon.